Hey, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm going to be playing Bloodborne. Um, I did you, look at my, look at my level, by the way. Look at what level I am. That's fucking crazy. Well, anyway, let me get started. I don't know if you would call this a hack. I don't, it's not a hack. Oh. What I did was, uh, there's this program called a uh, PS4 save editor, and uh, what I all I did was manipulate the save, so I didn't hack it, so I don't think I'll get in trouble. I don't know yet. Hopefully, I don't get banned or anything like that for for uh, raising my stats so high. But I'm not playing online, so and, I, and I'm not uh, doing it to like, you know get ahead of anybody else be different if I was playing online against other people and plus somebody requested this too so that's another reason why I'm doing this Oh yeah, check this out. Keep an eye on my uh, stamina. See? Look at that. Woohoo! I'm like a god in Bloodborne right now. Whenever I kill these guys, I like I like uh, playing with their dead bot. Well, it sounds weird, right? But I like uh, doing this right here, watching their bodies move around like that. It's funny. All right. Those blood vials, or that blood vial that I just picked up, uh, whenever you lose health, look, let me show you something. I still can take fall damage, though. I just um I can't I can't take any damage from enemies. Like check this out. See, pay attention to my health bar. This is what the blood vials do. Cool. Alright. So now you know what the blood vials do. And then I have my silver bullets up there to the top left corner. I have like twenty of them. Oh yeah, let me go to the hunter's stream. Yeah, my cousin's thinking about getting this game as well. And um, I wanted to show him too. Because this game is awesome. Like, I, shit, I enjoy playing it. Like, uh, 50, well, yeah, like, so actually 60% of the time when I'm on here, this is what I'm playing. The Hunter's Dream. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Let me go to my inventory. This antidote right here is like for poison. Right here. And right here, the blood, the the beast blood pellet that just like, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, that grants you like a uh, beast hood, like with one of those creatures that I just killed. And this right here, I, I really don't use this. This the oil urn, I don't use that. The pungent uh, blood cocktail, I use that. That attracts like werewolves and shit like that. Numbing mist, I don't use that. I don't use the pebbles. I use the fire paper sometimes. That just adds fire damage to your weapon. Same thing with the bolt paper. Bone marrow ash, extra damage to quicksilver bullets. Okay. Uh, the bolt hunter's mark. 
I don't really use that or the shiny coins. I use the hand lantern though. The monocle. Uh, these right here. These are... Okay, yeah, they're, it's called Cold Blood Dew. And what they do is they give you blood echoes. And blood echoes in this game is like currency. You know, to buy weapons and upgrades and shit like that. And I got a whole bunch of them from my last playthrough. Like, I beat this already, so... This is just for people who, you know, want to get a, an idea of what it's like. Or thinking about picking this game up. You should. It's really good. Look at that. I got a whole bunch of these. Okay. Purchase item. I should be able to have... Okay, here we go. Did I get a new gun? No, I didn't. Okay. This is Gammon. He runs the Hunter's Dream. You must be the new hunter. I'm not going to bore you with his... Uh, Dribble, I'm, we're just gonna go on. Shut up, Gammy. Nobody wants to hear you. I am. You're sure to just go out and kill a few beasts. Shut up. Okay, so. Didn't I buy his. I thought I bought his blade. Okay. So. Right here, let me show you, let me, before I do anything else, let me show you something else. Let me go to my inventory. Okay, this, these things right here, bloodstone shards, those are what you use to help, uh, get your, uh, give your weapons more damage. And, like, it goes up to, like, ten tiers of, da of, of damage, and, like, these bloodstone shards right here, that's, like, the first tier, this one is the second one. And these right here, the third tier, they're like the la the like what you need to make your weapon like the strongest. And the final one is like uh, it's called a bloodstone, but you only get like one of those per playthrough. So that's why it's kind of hard to max out an entire weapon like in one playthrough. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna fortify my weapon. Uh, here it is. Alright, I've never really used this weapon, so I don't know how well it works. Hey, I look like a Grim Reaper with this. I don't. I don't need any of these weapons right here. Well, I, like I'll, I'll look at them so that way I can show you guys. Like I got all these weapons right here. This is the, the. These are the weapons that the game starts off with. The threaded cane. That that cane. That weapon's badass right there. But it, the damage is like low as fuck. As you can see, it's like seventy-eight. And the hunter's axe. The Hunter's Axe is pretty much the strongest weapon to start off with right here. And then you got your uh, firearms over here. The blunder the Hunter's Blunderbuss and the Hunter's Pistol. I don't like the Blunderbuss. I think it's too slow to fire. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go back to Yarnum. Central Yarnum. I just want to see what this uh, sickle can do because it's like that. <laughs> it's my first time getting this, the sickle. If not, I'm just going to stick back to my samurai sword. Oh yeah, there's little side missions in here too, and you can hear like little t like tales or 
you know, little side lore from from the game. Watch like. Oh, you must be a hunter, and not one from around here either. And you must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help. If there's anything that can be done, this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. Pale blood, you say? But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. <laughs> Yarnumites don't share much with outsiders. Normally, they wouldn't let you near the place. The hunt is on tonight. Okay, so this uh, special blood that he's talking about that was administered through the healing church. Um, they, well, you know what? I don't want to spoil it because uh, this, this, I did make this video for somebody special, for especially somebody you know, and I don't want to say anything. But uh, pretty much the the whole thing to this game is that the blood is the key, the special blood. <laughs> Hey, not bad. I like this sickle. I should have named my character the Grim Reaper. Silly Yarnamites. Damn it. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, cool. It turns into a sword as well. That is badass. This is crazy, this fucking town, though. This is what the special blood did to all the townspeople, it transformed them into these things. And you that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? I'll be trotting along, mate. Just give me a minute. Everybody's so rude here, shit. Whoa, buddy. Uh, you know what? I don't like it after. I'm gonna stick to my samurai sword. I guess I just got used to it. God damn it, you piece of shit. Get off me. Oh, look, there's one of those blood shards I was talking about. I like doing the, uh... Oh, you fucking faggot. Get off me, boy. That's what you get. We're messing with the best. Why am I dodging? I don't need to You know what?
Damn. Little bitch. Damn it. Get away from me. And you quit shooting me. Sounds finished. I'm gonna pick up some money, see what these loot these dead bodies, see what they got. Ah, Burn. you little bitch, you ruined my fucking attack. Okay. Yes, summon Father Gascoigne. I like Father Gascoigne, he's a beast, literally. Like, watch him, he's like, Arr! like he's on fucking steroids. Watch. Watch, listen. Come on, Father Gascoigne, I know you got my back. Look at him, he's just like... He's all... Rah! Damn, that's what I like about Father Gascoigne. He just go. he just goes at him, he don't care whether he dies or not. Come on, let's go, man. Let's do this shit. Whoa! All right, let's get out of here. Nigga! Damn, he's almost dying. Look at his health bar. Man, I wish they made this game on like a online coat, like a kind of like they what they did with Resident Evil Five. I know you can do online co-op on here, but it's not like. You can be on there, be playing with your friends forever. It's just like just for bosses and shit. Oh, uh, be careful with these with these wolves right here. They're fucking, they're fucking dangerous. Like, if both of them come at you at one time, you're fucked. But uh, you can either try to lure one like towards you one at a time this way, or what you could do is run, run. Run past both of these guys. Sorry, Father Gascoigne, you're gonna be the sacrificial now. Kill him.
damn. You just threw that motherfucker like nothing. Okay, he's dead. Alright, so. Yeah, get them to follow you. You come down here and look. Whoa, okay, but don't forget about this guy. See, and they can't, uh, they can't, uh, come in here. They're too big. And then get, like, a long-range weapon. I guess, like, this sickle or the hunter's axe in the beginning of the game. You step back. Let him come back. Oh, that didn't go as well as planned. All right, take another step back. Let them come. Okay, I don't like this fucking this sickle right here. And just keep doing it over and over again, rinse and repeat, you know. But I'm not gonna do that because I don't need to. So. I want to hurry up and get to the first boss already. All right. Uh, before I started using all these cheats and stuff for this guy, uh, what I would like, what I would do is, let me see if I have any. Oh yeah, okay. I'd equip some Molotov cocktails because those birds are fucking annoying as well, and you can get one if uh, you're lucky enough. All right. See, I got two of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, so see. There's only one left now. And here's the cleric beast. This is like the first boss. You don't have to fight this boss. This boss is like one of those optional bosses, but I like to do it uh, to get more blood echoes. The Cleric Beast. No! Bitch, I'm a mortal. You can't kill me. Bow down to your master. You know what? Why am I playing with you? I'm using my blood tinge on this weapon. In other words, you can use your own blood as uh, to enhance the weapon with magic. Or blood magic, whatever you want to call it. Look at the damage I'm doing. Yeah, and that will drain, I mean, that will drain away uh, my health with this sword right here. That's the bad thing about it, like, you can use your own uh, your own blood magic, whatever you want to call it. I forgot what they call it in this game, but the more you use it, as you can see, your health starts draining fast, but the weapon becomes more powerful. You know what I mean? Like you gotta, it's kind of like you're sacrificing something to get a, like a really powerful weapon. Really good weapon. <laughs> 